Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today Tuesday and we will have a short update on the price of Bitcoin and what's happening in the markets. Just before I go to screen share, I would like to remind you and just appeared here in the screen on the screen uh, the Telegram group that we created some time ago, um, two, three weeks ago, already having more than 300 people there. So I invite you guys to subscribe to this Telegram group. Just open your browser, write that URL, and you'll be invited by a page where you click the button and you will automatically join the group. Or you can just ask, uh, search for a few money uh, on your Telegram app and you will be taken directly there. So that's it. Let's go to screen share. And just before I forget, if you enjoy the content, usually this channel, just gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget the bell notification and select all so you get notified every time I upload a video. So let's go to screen share and I will uh, zoom in because I know the big majority of you guys use phones to watch the videos. So let's see what's happening on the price to time model. I would say that we are exactly where we should have been all this time because I've been analyzing this more carefully and I know that from this point on, we have been going exponentially up like crazy. And this was too fast, too soon. As I said many times when we started to rise around this area here, I said it many times, if we start to cross this threshold line here, we will have corrections that actually happened. So the first time we crossed it above, we had this big correction down for two weeks. Then a few weeks later, we crossed it again, another big correction down. And now we have this big correction, of course, because this was unsustainable. So I said it many times, we are exactly in the area where we should have been all this time if we had a sustainable rise to the top, which should have been closer to what the yellow candle pattern here shows in this chart. So actually, we are a bit delayed now regarding or comparing to the yellow candle pattern of 2017. And this is the bull cycle of 2017. So we are a bit delayed now, but we were ahead of time for so long that now we are consolidating in this area. So you guys know this already. That's my opinion. And the RSI shows that we are now just a bit below the 75% correction level of the RSI mid cycle 2013 when we had the local top and then corrected afterwards. So it's a very, very similar uh, pattern that we got here from that uh, cycle of 2013. And now we are trying to get back on track and following the the path of this 2017 cycle, which we are a bit delayed comparing to, but I'm guessing that we need a bit more consolidation after such a big rise, exponential rise to the top, really, really much ahead of time, as I said many times. So that's the price to time model. We will continue to follow what's happening here, and I hope that we can catch up and finally start to go on track, a bit more on track comparing to the previous cycle for the rise to the top, which no one knows when it will happen, but my guess will be by the end of 2021, uh, around that period. Okay, so let's check the crypto total. Where are we here? And here it is, we are still going up. There is another green candle on this, uh, this is the daily. So if I zoom in here, we have been going up since we crossed a hair below the support context, which is the gray box around here, this area. And now we have been going up. And even though yesterday was a red day, as I said, but today we are again going up. So we are still on the green. And my um, analysis of this chart tells me that we will face a big resistance here at the mid uh, mid context, which is this wine color zigzag line here, which represents exactly 50% of the context. So from here to the upside, it's exactly the same distance from here to the downside, which is now a new box since July started. So you guys can see it. 
now this is july the gray box is still building up so we have just a, a shorter box here and this box here it's also building up this corresponds to july and this level here it's exactly the 50 percent of the context support which i believe will face some resistance for the new um rise looking for a third range boundary which i believe should come around the 1.7 trillion when this trend channel continues to go down and meets the price action around this area so that's the analysis here the pro momentum shows that we are still very very close to oversold territory so it will probably the biggest probability will be the pro momentum starting to rise here at the same time as the price action or in this case the crypto market total uh, total is going up to meet the trend line there on the red zigzag okay so uh bitcoin dominance very quickly so the bitcoin dominance has been doing the same thing although we cross the support context a lot to the downside so you guys can see it in the zoomed chart that we crossed it below the support context a lot so this was not really expected this was overextended correction of the bitcoin dominance to the downside although we have a bull signal here of course after such a big drop and correction but we are still fighting to get above there we have now a really it's almost almost impossible to see but you guys see here that there is a new support context being formed very very low and this goes around to this area so as from july we have now a new support context on the bitcoin dominance and that brought the medium line of the context channel to this level so this is the 50 percent of the medium uh, the 50 percent of the context channel now we are again going up also in dominance and trying to fight the resistance around this area here which is the 47 or 48 level percent level the bitcoin dominance however is experiencing a bullish momentum as you guys can see by the blue line here so we are expecting the pro momentum is also showing some signs that we could start to go up again in dominance and probably if bitcoin continues to rise altcoins will follow as you guys know they always follow the leader and uh, in this case i believe that the bitcoin dominance will increase a bit before the alt continuation to follow the leader happens so let's see how the bitcoin dominance evolves but i guess that we are really at a very strong support level now and the box is just forming around this area where exactly we were just a few days ago a uh, week sorry a weeks ago and then we will try to fight this 50 percent here if we continue to go up so that will be a very very um difficult case for bitcoin to win but i bet that we will see again higher levels around this area as we've seen before so let's see how the alt continuation to follow the leader will uh, happen and uh, we will see it in uh, the next few weeks i guess a big bitcoin move is preparing to happen and you guys will uh, know that in just a few minutes so today on the mri chart the mri strategy chart we will start with the monthly and i would like to just turn off all the plottings on that chart and show you guys that this is something which i like somewhat i like this and we had a big 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 drop for that month there the month of may then we had a small continuation during june and now in july we are again being supported around the 30 thousand dollars level and of course this price structure which i will just again turn off the plotting so you guys can see it better this formation is not bad at all i like the support found around this area and you guys know this is around the 30k we had a big uh, drop to the 28 so now we are above it around 34,000. but i like the price structure on the candles i like that this is starting a new rounded kind of bottom here and if this continues probably the next month will start to show a green candle so i would like to see august as the bottom 
the absolute bottom for the price reversal action and starting to see a green candle. And the fact that we are constructing this structure here, it looks like that Bitcoin wants to find the bottom here and start to go up in one or two months. So it's possible that August or September could be the reversal of the price action on the monthly chart. And that will be a very nice indication. So, but that's what I wanted to show you guys for the monthly chart. The RSI continues to go sideways. We are still bullish, of course, on the MACD. It's a very laggy indicator. We are, we still have the blue line above the orange line and the gap is decreasing. But if we see a price reversal soon, probably we could see something like a touch of the two lines or even the blue going below the orange for some time. But again after some time that happened we could see the blue line again crossing the orange and continuation for the final cycle to the top so that's my opinion on the monthly chart let's go to the weekly i just wanted to show you guys this very quickly let's see the weekly continues exactly the same way as yesterday we still did not reverse this candle for a green candle and i'm sure that some support will come on the way for next week uh, at maximum one or two weeks max when the 50 period SMA touches the price action or finds gives support to the candles around here around this accumulation area and helps the price action to reverse. So it could actually be the 50 period SMA to help that situation I just described on the monthly chart that we could see in a more in, in a few more weeks we could see that the price action slowly starts to reverse to the upside and this accumulation will continue the uh, price action moving up. So let's see what happens here. I'm just waiting. I'm very, very curious for the end of July in the beginning of August and to see what happens. Of course, the RSI continues on the weekly chart, continues to go sideways. There is no big news there because we are just accumulating, going up and down and not really having some volatile moves on the weekly. The MACD continues bearish. However, we continue to see the gaps between the bars uh, increasing or in this case the bars itself decreasing in size and forming the gap with the previous bar so that's a good sign that we could be losing the momentum for the bears and soon enough in just a few more weeks you, see, you guys see it here that this bar is one week corresponds to one week so i would say that probably three four five six weeks maximum we could start to see the bars close to the neutral level of zero and then uh, as I said on the monthly chart, start to slowly see this curve of the price action starting to go up and probably this accumulation being over, just preparing for a shoot up. So that's it for the weekly chart. Let's see the daily and see where we are with, uh, let me just turn on the plottings again. And we continue to have the bullish divergence so on the daily chart it's very easy to spot this you just have to plot this trend line here below the rsi starting from this point which was the 19th of may the big drop the first big drop of bitcoin from the all-time high and uh, it ended around the 30k level and this was on the 19th so if you start your trend line here and you touch all these points especially this point here on the 21st of june and then almost touching this on the 25th of June, you will have this trend line that is going up while the general price action is still going down. So this is a bullish divergence. I've been uh, talking about this in the last videos. This still continues to apply. It was not invalidated because the RSI continues to be above the trend line. On the daily chart, however, this is what we are having now. So this is the big drop I discussed with you guys yesterday and this morning. And then sorry not this morning this morning is this one because this is a daily but yesterday we had the big drop and then we started to go up however this morning and we have to move to the four hour chart to see that this morning we had another big drop however this candle here which is very very interesting was not again an engulfing candle and the 100 period moving average which is a red line you guys see there really helped to support the price action so this not being an engulfing candle is a good sign we did not cross the body of the green candle to the downside and now we are just fighting for this doji to go up again but i guess the two other moving averages there are facing are making are really being 
a strong resistance for this doji candle to move to the upside so we will have to wait and see how this candle will close on the four hour and we are just 30 minutes away from that but it will be in 30 minutes i doubt it will be easy to have the scandal cross the body of the previous one to the upside and those two moving averages uh, here you can see on the rsi going sideways so we have we don't have any real price action on this candle just being a doji and you can you guys can see the trend line is actually in a bigger um, plotting here so you guys can see that the rsi never crossed this trend line to the downside showing the bullish divergence i believe bitcoin will will be or is uh, actual in the formation of a bigger move that will come soon and you guys will see that this bullish divergence will trigger a big move or a big volatile move for bitcoin really really soon however there is not you cannot exclude the possibility that we still could see a new low around the 26,000 area before we then restart um, or finish this accumulation phase probably with one final move to the downside around the 26 27,000 area and we could then from there start a new move to the upside so there's always that probability i told you guys in the last few videos that uh, there's a probability that we could see that happen a new low like 10 20 percent probabilities one in five would be uh, my guess <clears throat> sorry for that so the macd continues to go neutral here the blue line and orange line just going parallel and the bars very very short uh, no big news on the MACD, the RSI uh, also going sideways on this last candle and the BitMEX funding rate continues to uh, show that there are a lot more shorts than longs and the premium is very negative so in total we are below the threshold of 0 0.06 and we are now close to 0 0.1 and that of course is favoring the bulls. I still think the bulls are in control in general around this area of the 2830k because we have been having higher lows, not just having the higher highs as we expected, but the higher lows are there. And if you guys see this low, it's this one is a higher low and this one is again a higher low. So I guess the bulls are in control, but they would like to have lower prices to start actually buying because we don't see so much volume these days, except for the last few four hour candles here. But in general, all the volume has been decreasing for a long, long time. And that shows that the bulls, despite being in control and not allowing the 30K level to go below, uh, are still waiting for probability of better prices to start really really buying like crazy so let's see how all that evolves um, let me just take a peek here so on the pro indicators chart on the daily of course we are close we still have to go a bit up but we are close to have a second range boundary on the daily chart and that tells me that the support context is very very strong as i just said on the previous chart around the 2830k level so there are a lot of bulls there just waiting for better prices to buy but they are not willing to buy at the current prices 34 35 and that is why the volume continues to be very low but if everything goes according to the plan the second range boundary will start a move to the upside trying to find the third range boundary which we still have to see which level will be but i guess that the trend channel coming down this fast will probably face or give us a lot of resistance around the 42 43 area if we continue from here to the upper side probably 41 42 so that's it the uh, for the pro indicators the momentum is starting to go up so you guys see the orange line there we are having a momentum to the upside so we have to continue this momentum if you want to hold the prices around this level not drop below this ranging um, channel in white that you guys see the big ranging channel in white and find a third range boundary around this area for sure so let's see then here 
DXY, the dollar finally broke again the trend line I had there, the red trend line of the dollar. And this is one of the reasons also why Bitcoin is not going up and probably why we fell again today. So the dollar, I don't know how, but it found a way to break the trend line here. And it's really, really stubborn, not wanting to go down to retest the support around the 90 on the Dixie. So no big news there. We have to see what the dollar is going to do, but I'm just waiting for the big move down that will break finally, finally break this support and take the dollar to lower levels, helping Bitcoin to recover for sure. Let's take a look at gold. Gold has been going up. As I said yesterday, I was expecting gold to find support on the tr white trend line here. Uh, finally, it just didn't care about the red trend line going down. This was just a one, two, four candle correction on the MRI. You guys can see it here, one, two, three, four. And now we are going up and probably the next resistance for gold will be to overcome the 50 period SMA, the yellow line you guys see there on the chart. So let's see how that goes. But gold is showing really, really good strength to the upside. Also happening the same here. So not today because it just started trading, but just before the markets opened uh, this morning, the S&P was still above the trend line and we are now again fighting for the trend line support. As you guys see there, we are exactly on top of the trend line here with this new candle of today. But just before the weekend and when the markets were closed, of course, the S&P was able to recover from this drop and go back above the trend line. So I was expecting uh, that we could go again inside the wedge but i also said i also said to everyone looking at the uh, watching the videos that this could be the first warning that this wedge is coming to an end so guys be really careful here because this is a very um this is a very dangerous situation we might be on the verge and you guys know that this is a um this is an up um, facing up wedge, so it's pointing up, sorry, uh, wedge. And you guys know that the bigger probability of this wedge being broken is to the downside. So we could be close to a big drop on the S&P unless this trend line continues to hold and we, for some miracle, I guess, could break the wedge to the upside here. But the bigger probability, as you guys know, this is a pointing up wedge. so. The bigger probability is that we break it to the downside and then we will find support much lower at much lower levels than the previous swing low. So that's it for the SMP. Uh, and let me just take a look at the overall chart for Bitcoin since the 2017 top to today's action. I'm still uh, waiting for this fifth Elliott wave to complete, which would take us uh, in somewhere between 150 to 200,000. So let's see. The price of time model tells me that we could go to 280 if we follow the previous two data points. So there's a lot here, a lot going on, and uh, I still, I still hope that the Elliott wave count and the Fibonacci extensions that I've been plotting here are correct, and we could see Bitcoin for the final part of this bull cycle to achieve those levels. Let's see how this evolves. But uh, from yesterday to today, of course, you can't see anything really uh, relevant in this chart. I'm just trying to see if the inclination also of the Elliott waves is correct or not, or if we could accumulate for some more time and then probably delay that top for some more time also. So that's it, guys, for today. I'm just going back to the chart I usually uh, leave on the screen. Let me just stop screen share here. So if you guys enjoyed, of course, if you guys enjoyed the content, just gently touch the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Share it with your friends. Also, don't forget the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video or I go live streaming, which actually occurs on Saturdays. Also, guys, I will just put it on the screen again. If you want to subscribe to the Telegram group, of course, there's a lot of bright people there already discussing Bitcoin and other shitcoins. <laughs> 24 hours a day so if you'd like to join the discussion just join us and uh, you will be very welcome on that telegram group so for now i will leave you guys of course as usual with the wise words for the day all right let's roll hey
let's be careful out there and that's it guys let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets i will see you guys again tomorrow with another short update bye bye <laughs>